Shade 45, we out here right now. Fly guys in the building. West Side Gun. Got that That's new project out there. Pray for Paris. Go out there and get that. I know a lot of you got guys already and ladies already have it, but turn it up another time. Now, yes, we, just yes. got, we got out of the Sean versus Flair. And here's, here's the point that I want to make because I think this is taking us back to WrestleMania 2008. This is like Ric Flair's retirement match right here. And there was only one person who could take Flair out, and that would be HBK, Shawn Michaels, right? But it also makes me think that you went ahead and brought up this retirement talk. And I don't know if these two, if this is like some secret meaning in it. I'm hoping that it's not. But please explain. <laughs> it is, man. Damn it! It's coming, it's coming to an end. It's coming it. to an end soon, man. It's a beautiful story. But it's it's coming to an end, man. This is still my last year, bro. It's still my last year, man. So, you know, it's like projects like this, I still be wanting to do like special moments, have special meanings, man, because it's one of those situations. It's like, man, enjoy it while you can. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot more things, man, that I'm brewing and I'm cooking, man. And I'm still gonna executive produce the illest hip hop that that comes out. You know what I mean? I'm still gonna be you know, behind some of the illest artists in the world. Like, mm -hmm. that's not going to change, man. But, you know, I always had a plan since the beginning. You know, 2020 was always going to be my last year. And I've been already just building so much in, you know, the art world and the fashion world and, you know, the wrestling world, just building up everything. So when I kind of walk away from rapping, I can actually push, you know, a lot more dope artists, younger artists, raw artists. It don't even matter about the age, but it's just the fact of, you know, I want to push a lot more hip hop to the world. Like what I did for myself, I could do for five others. I, I want it to be five more West Sides, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's just going to help push the culture forward. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, 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 I have to do that, like kind of step back a little bit so I could just push more. But I, at the same time as well, I'm going to be fashion week i'm gonna be wrestlemania i'm gonna be you know what i'm saying like all the things i love doing man it's just you know it's i think me actually stepping away from rapping will actually you know bring more to the core it's, it sound weird you know what i'm saying because but rapping isn't everything for me you know what i mean you know you know what it is so many people are selfish bro that's like, yeah. hearing, like, you know, somebody, you know, is moving away. You're like, come on, man. You sure you want to move out there to get that, all that money? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I need you yeah. here with us, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, you never know, man. Once a year, I might be like, yo, let me, let me, man, this song's so special. Let me hop on this joint with Benny or let me hop on this joint with, you know what I'm saying, Kanye or something with Conway or something special, you know. But it's one of them things, it's like an Andre 3000 thing, you know what I mean? Or, mm. you know, it's like I might stick my head out every now and then, and but for the most part, you know, you're going to see me still front row at the wrestlings and still, you know, pushing a lot more do, uh, new dope artists. Because I, I know a lot of dope artists I'll be peeping in, you know, um, you know, in Buffalo, of course, but it's a lot of dope people in New York. It's a lot of dope West Coast artists. It's a lot of dope Detroit artists. It's a lot of dope, you know, just just people all over that. It's like, you know what, man, I, I want to tap in with them. You know what I'm saying? But I can't really tap in all the way with them when I'm trying to make three and four albums a year. You know what right. I mean? So, right. Right. Yeah. You, you did mention um, Kanye, and I know that you, I had read somewhere that, you know, you guys had connected. You was able to hear some music and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Is it a chance that you guys might be able to work on that last that last album, man? Because I, I you course. just you just keep you keep elevating, elevating, elevating. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Honestly, he wanted to get on Pray for Paris. So what stopped it? You know what I mean, nah, man. You know, it's just it was already right at the end. It was right at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like he literally called me on the phone and was wow. like, "This was like, man, like." couple days before the album. I had already handed in the album. <laughs> you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it was just like, I'm like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> I know you disciplined, but at the same time, you're like, yo, how many hours we got? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can make it happen. Damn, yeah, like I had already handed it in, you know, to the vinyl company and already handed in the yeah. Like It was just, 
it was already done. Like I had already was telling people like, you know, the track list was everything. It was just like, but he was just like, yo man, you know what I mean? One of the joints you wanted to get on. It was just like, man, but it was just timing. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, we got so much we about to even do, man. I'm not even worried about that. Him, him call, not me calling him, him calling me just already solidified. Like what we about to do is about to be special. Got you, man. Well, you know what I want to do? This is a special song right here. I had a chance to, um, this is my brother representing Detroit. Everybody out there, what up, though? I feel like it's a special song. It's for all the overcomers out there. I want to jump into some Royce to Five Nine real quick, and then we're going to be right back with the Fly Guy. That's cool? Yes, yes, man. You already know. Shout out to Royce, man. He got me on BT looking real good. <laughs> As he should, man. Yeah. Let's get over to that, man. It's great, Rizzy. We out here, Westside Gun. 